Hi friends, in this video let us understand the difference between hybridization and genetic modification. Hybridization is also called as artificial selection, whereas genetic modification is by means of genetic engineering producing genetically modified organisms. In both cases, genetic changes are involved. Or the similarity is both involves human mediated mixing up of traits or genes to obtain species with desirable traits like disease resistance, enhanced crop yield, etc. Now let us see the difference. Let's take an example to understand better. Hybridization, as you see, this is a modern corn and this is developed from this wild grass Teosinde through selective breeding over thousands of years. So this is the kennel size of this wild grass. Now after selective breeding for thousands of years, now we have the present day corn with a large kernel. All the crop varieties now we have is produced through selective breeding or hybridization. Whereas genetic modification, these are some of the examples. Golden rice, a rice rich in vitamin A, Bt cotton that is resistant to insects, whereas flavor sever tomato, a tomato with a long shelf life. All are genetically modified crops or it's a technique in which genetic material of an organism is changed to produce desirable traits. Here we are introducing a gene that manifests that desirable traits by different gene transfer methods by means of recombinant DNA technology or genetic engineering or we may be silencing a gene in the case of flavor sever tomato ripening gene is silenced by means of recombinant DNA technology. So a gene is introduced or silenced to get a desirable trait. So it's an artificial technique where genetic manipulation is the basis. Hybridization involves crossing between related species of desirable traits. So hybrids are created through a natural process. Here, this is a variety that is, that is disease susceptible. So donor variety is disease resistant. We are crossing these two to get a variety that is disease resistant. So this is a natural process is happening that is mediated by artificial selection by humans. So hybrids are produced with a desirable trait. Here the desirable trait is disease resistance. Whereas genetic modification, it's an artificial technique that involves genetic manipulation of an organism. So this is a disease susceptible variety. We are introducing a gene that gives this plant disease resistance. So by different vectors and gene transfer methods, we are introducing a gene that produces some proteins that makes this plant disease resistant or resistant to some insects, then cultured in a laboratory, cells of this plant cultured in a laboratory and later developed into a plant that is disease resistant. So this is a transgenic plant. A foreign gene has been introduced into this plant. Hybridization involves related species or varieties of species are cross-pollinated resulting in offsprings with a combination of traits from both the parents. So this is a wild mustard. Now we have this cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, all these are produced through selective breeding or hybridization for hundreds of years. Whereas genetic modification, genes from related or unrelated species can be introduced. So this is, a, suppose this is a disease resistant corn. So the gene for this disease resistance is from Bacillus thuringiensis, a bacteria which has a gene called cry gene that produces a protein called cry protein that is insecticidal. So that gene is transferred to the corn so that corn will start producing this cry protein that is insecticidal, making this corn disease resistant. So any gene from even from other organisms or unrelated organisms can be transferred in genetic modification. The next difference is in the case of hybridization, a number of genes are introduced that includes both desirable and undesirable genes. So it is less predictable and less specific. Suppose this is the donor variety with A gene. So we want to transfer this B gene. There's a B gene. This is having a desirable quality. We want to transfer this B gene. So this is a recipient variety DNA strand has C gene. So while after hybridization, B gene may be transferred along with this B gene, many A genes are also transferred. So there will be a mix up of genes that may have both desirable and undesirable genes or traits that makes it less specific. Whereas genetic modification is highly specific, only specific genes are introduced that manifest desirable traits in recipient plant. 
So it's predictable. So this is a donor organism with A gene. We want to transfer this A and B gene. We want to transfer this B gene that is having some desirable property. So this is a recipient plan with C gene. So we are only transferring this B gene to this donor plant so that the donor plant will be getting only that specific gene that imparts the desirable trait. So it's highly specific and predictable. And finally, regarding the safety, hybridization, the products or crops developed by hybridization are considered as safe for consumption as we have hundreds of thousands of varieties available and we are using it from the time immemorial it is considered safe for consumption. Take the case of rice, hundreds of varieties are released every year like Sudhir, Nanyu, Tu, Hunan. These are all varieties with some desirable traits. Development of these desirable traits or hybrids impacts natural biodiversity by loss of wild varieties. Whereas genetic modification, there are many concerns about potential health risk, allergic reactions, toxicity, gut health. So this genetically modified crop, when inside the gut, how this natural gut bacterium responds to this genetically modified crop or food research is going on. Then there is environmental impact, how this genetically modified crop or organism interacts with other organisms, pollinators or other varieties. What happens when there is a cross-pollination? We don't know exactly. The most important threat is these are produced by multinational companies there is there are patent rights and that will lead to corporate monopoly that often adversely affect the prospects of farmers so many questions are yet to be answered in the case of gmos or genetically modified crops or organisms the research is going on hope you are clear with the difference between hybridization and genetic modification take care stay blessed thank you so much you are with biologyexamsforyou.com